Within the span of seven days, there were two marches in Washington, the Women's March and the March for Life. The Women's March was a display of vulgarity, obscenity, and just downright meanness. But um, just a lot of people were kind of being physical. Uh, we have a pregnant woman with us and she was pushed. Um, and people are, you know, yelling in our faces and uh, giving us the middle finger. So the marshals kind of had to come out and protect us. The March for Life is peaceful, prayerful, and respectful. But don't take my word for it. We're going to make a comparison to see what people thought, what they said, and how they reacted. When does human life begin? I, I think... Do you know the answer to that, scientifically? No. I don't know the answer to that. I believe that it begins after uh, at some point when the fetus can live viably outside the womb. When would you say life begins? I don't think it is about determining when life begins. I think it's just a very personal, painful choice that you know every woman has to make, and I don't think a government should make it. I don't think an, another individual should make it. It's, I mean, Catholics would say that a life begins at conception, at conception right? Um, but I think a life begins when someone's able to take care of it in the world. Okay, when does life begin? Conception. 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 No exception. Conception. When does life begin? At conception. In the womb. Life begins at conception. At conception. At conception. At conception. Do you believe in God? I surely do. What is the fifth commandment? Thou shalt not kill. What does abortion do? I believe abortion kills, but I also, again, my faith canon is not the same as other people. Can you tell me what Let's the go. fifth commandment is? I, wait, go, quick, quick. Well, let's see, love your mother, honor your father. You did mention that you were Catholic, so, you're Catholic? Uh, born and raised, baby, born and raised. Are you so a faithful? A are you a faithful Catholic? I am so not. And you were raised Catholic? I was, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> How do you square abortion with the fifth commandment? The fifth commandment. Ah, well, um, that just depends on your definition of when life begins. Second question is, what is the fifth commandment? You shall not kill. The fifth commandment: um, Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. Does that include the elderly? includes any innocent human life. Legislation was passed here in Washington, D.C. to legalize euthanasia, the killing of the elderly. What is your opinion on euthanasia? It's just as strong as my opinion um, against abortion. Life is life, no matter which end of the spectrum you're at. I'm Catholic, and our stance is um, protecting life from conception until natural death. So. But I, I do have uh, the relative, in fact, that I took care of. Um, who is completely checked out. Uh, his Alzheimer's is at the final stages. If the laws were such that those that love this man could peacefully uh, send him on his way, uh, that would be great. There's talk that Planned Parenthood might be defunded. How do you feel about that? Terrible because they do not provide federal funds to for, for any abortions. It's a big lie that the right wing has promoted. There's talk that Planned Parenthood might be defunded of uh, federal tax dollars. How would you feel about that? Furious. Not very good. I'm terrified and horrified at the thought. I would not like that a bit. What I would your reaction be if you heard that Planned Parenthood was defunded? Uh, that, I'd be excited. I'd be happy. I mean, there's nothing greater than that. Joy. I'd be happy. I'm, I'd be glad. Um, I'd be elated, actually. Uh, my name is Abby Johnson and I ran a Planned Parenthood clinic for eight years. I was an abortion clinic director and uh, ended up leaving in 2009 and have been speaking out ever since about the corruption inside the abortion industry, what's taking place, um, and have been standing up for the rights of, of children but also the rights of these women because women deserve better than anything they receive inside of an abortion clinic. You're in a hostile environment. How is it going so far? We've been here all day, um, and everything was fine. But now that there's sort of a group of us, clearly they're feeling threatened. I just got shoved into the street. It's 
sort of mayhem now. I'm just angry about it. They shouldn't be here. This is for women's rights. This isn't for, you know, going backwards in time. No, they don't belong here. I mean, everyone has their choice. I honestly think they are brainwashed. I don't think that they understand what it's like to be a woman. They obviously have misinformation or something wrong with them, honestly. I'm just here to you know, state my beliefs and be a voice as a woman who should be included in a woman's march. But they're, you know, they're silencing us, which is completely the antithesis of what this march is supposed to be about. My body, my choice! Her body, her choice! Did you see any pro-life people here screaming or yelling obscenities at, at anybody? No, I haven't. Everyone's been super positive and we're just happy to be here and um, express our freedom of speech and everyone's just excited to you know, voice our views and opinions about the issue at hand.